So you have a black line. What if you want to do an ink line? And that would mean having a line that isn't black. So we have our line layer here. And I'm just calling, I'm going to rename this line. Makes more sense. And I'm going to make another layer, call it ink and uppercase. Hold down Alt or Option and click. And now you've masked that to the line. Now anything we paint on this layer will be masked to this layer. So I'm going to pick the skin color and I'm going to make a lighter color. So we have a highlight layer here. And now as I apply that, you can see that I'm, I'm coloring the line. I haven't actually changed the line. All I'm doing is applying a mask layer. So we have our line and the ink line here. To make this a little cle clearer, uh, I'm going to make like a false color background behind. So let's just pick like a dark purple or something different from the character and fill the background with that. Call this one BG. And now we can see more clearly when we're against the formerly white background. Okay, let's go back to the ink layer and we can do the same thing with shadows. We can just select this green for the skin and go darker. And the other thing that we can do is maybe pick a different brush. Like you, you could paint these in with a blurred brush because see how there's a hard edge here. So I have my own brushes here and you can find a link to that below if you want to use my brushes. Let's pick the soft brown brush. And now when I paint here, I have a much nicer transition from one to the other. Sometimes you'll want a hard brush, sometimes a soft. I'm going to make a preset for this. New tool preset. I'm just going to call it 05. See, fuzzy. And now that'll save me having to tunnel into there again. Now let's paint the mouth. I think that probably should be darker than that. I'll keep it green though. And this here. And let's just paint the eye line green too. And if you want to give them like a strange eye color, something that'll really catch the eye, maybe red here, you can go over that. Now, if I uncouple the ink layer from the line, you see how messy I'm drawing outside. Again, we nest it and we get this very nice effect. Repeat the same process throughout the entire character. Sometimes I really like using this kind of ink technique if I want to get something that looks a little more um, illuminated. Sometimes a black line is stronger graphically. It's just going to depend on what your preference is or for a particular scene. And it's not the kind of thing, like I said, I do for everything. Okay, so let's do the darker version of that and just pick a darker color. How this is now starting to look more like a painting. You, if you ever wonder like how do artists who work in this kind of program get these kind of effects. So I'm gonna go a bit lighter here. And just apply that. So I imagine the light's coming from above and slightly behind him. So he's a little bit backlit. Let's pick this, go a bit darker. Very close now. Back in the uh, golden age of animation, this would have been done very laboriously on a cell by hand with a sort of a repeatograph kind of tool. Um, very, very time consuming, very easy to make mistakes, um, very challenging job. And it's so much easier now with, uh, with this kind of method on the computer. Let me pick the green here and again, go back, find the light line and just put the highlight in here and here. Not sure if it needs it there. Uh, maybe a highlight here, maybe there. And then the darker green, almost done. Oh, so that is how you ink. And if I just get rid of all the stuff beneath, I like this purple, maybe we can make it a bit darker. Control U and just make it a little bit greener. Okay, that's the process of inking. We have our ink layer. We can switch it on or off by taste. You could even make it like an opacity if you wanted to fade it in or bring it down by just a notch if you think it's a bit too much. So I'm going to leave it on to 100% for now. I'm going to rename alien copy just to alien number two. So we have our old version and our correct version. So the next step will be to add some shadows and highlights.